previously on All My Children. Jake? Oh, my God. Jake. Oh. Oh, what in the world are you doing here? Look at you. Maybe Stuart's not dead. Adam. Hi. Hi. I'm Stuart. It's a mistake. I, I don't know anyone named... Uh... Stewart! Sure you do. No, no, I, I don't. From out west, the, the cafe. The Queen of Hearts. Oh, I I know what you're doing. You were in character then, weren't you? In character? Yeah. Annie Oakley. <laughs> you look just like her. You look different now. You're all neat and, and tucked in and everything. Well, I look different, too. I didn't have my fishing vest. Then you know me now, don't you? No, I, no, no, I don't. I, what does this have to do? Why are you here? Well, I, uh, I'm not sure, actually. Well, then what do you want? Well, I was hoping maybe, maybe I could come in. Um, I've had this funny feeling. Well, what kind of funny feeling? Well, a feeling that, that, that maybe I belong here. Do I? No, I, I... Holy moly, look at this place. I never dreamed it'd be like this. Well, obviously, if it isn't familiar, you don't belong here. Are you kidding? I feel like I'm home. Just, just tell me how you came from the desert of Nevada to this town, to this house. Oh, well, that's a, that's a whole crazy story all by itself. I could write a book. You see this vest? Yeah, yes, you've mentioned it before. Yeah, well, I went out to Idaho on a fishing trip. I'm not sure why I went there either. Uh, because a calendar sort of told me to. <laughs> anyway, I found this, and I liked it. It yeah, felt well, so good. Yeah, what does this have to do with why you're here? Oh, well, uh, there was a credit card thingy. Credit in card the pocket. thingy. Yeah, a, a receipt. Mm -hmm. And the tag on the back says, Pine Valley uh, Outfitters. Yeah, they, they've got some very nice things there, you know. Uh, you know, I don't know what you think you're going to find here, but I, there, there's nothing here that you want, I'm sure. This is Adam Chandler's house, isn't it? I, uh, it's not what you think. Yeah, well, they told me that it was Adam Chandler's credit card, so... And then I, I was in Pine Valley once before, um, and I went to the uh, Chandler Gallery. Get it, Chandler? And, and, and once in my, in my uh, trailer, I ran across something with uh, the name Adam written on it. Adam? It, it all began to make sense. Well, it, it doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand any of this. Well, well, that's why I'm here, Miss Oakley, to to talk to Adam Chandler and, and ask him why I keep running into his name and finding his stuff all over the place. And, and, and even more importantly, to, to ask if maybe he uh, might help me find out who I am. Do you think he knows? No, no, I, no, I don't. I think that you're making a lot of assumptions out of coincidences. Oh. Well, how come this place seems so familiar then? I mean, isn't that odd? Yes, yes, it's, <laughs> it's very odd. odd. Well, I mean odd in the sense that, that maybe my amnesia is fading away. And if I'm, wouldn't it be great if my amnesia was fading away because I'm home? You know, Stuart, I think I may be able to help you. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, I, I just have to make a couple of calls, you know, check some things out. So, um, you can wait, right? You can wait here. Sure. Yeah, oh, you. good. Oh, wait, um, come here. Um, uh, here. Um, <laughs> uh, don't move. I mean, just stay there until I get back. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Miss Oakley. Think nothing of it. Don't think, period. Oh, don't you look at me like that. We have to get him out of here right now. Uh, and then what? 
And then what? I don't know. I, I, Adam can't come in here and see that Stuart's here. Damn it, Vanessa. You've got to help me or else you're cut off and I'm busted. Arlene, this is hardly the time for ultimatums to me. I'm all you've got. Vanessa, if Adam comes home and finds out that Stuart is still alive and that I didn't tell him, he's going to kill me. Or at the very least, he's going to throw me out of my backside. And I can't keep you comfortable without his checkbook in my pocket. Well, there is truth in that. All right. Well, then you're going to help me get rid of him, right? Uh, it would be my best interest, wouldn't it? Hallelujah. This is going to cost you double. What? Arlene, really, would you expect anything less? Okay, than fine, whatever, double. Just go along with me when he comes inside. Well, what, who shall I be? The maid? I mean, I don't think he's going to buy that. I don't that. know, just get him out of the house. Fine, fine, go, go. What are you waiting for? Oh, my God. Hello? What did you say? Uh, Stuart, where were you? Say that again. Say what again? So, uh, wh say that again. Say what you just said. Say it again. I, I don't understand. Hello? Is anybody there? Uh, hello? Hello? Is anybody there? I... Hello? 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 Is anybody there? What? What? What are you thinking? I was in an automobile accident. I was hit by a car. And while I was hurt, before I realized what had happened, I heard your voice. No. You were there. No, I... Miss Oakley? Were you driving the car that hit me? No, I didn't hit you. I've never seen you before. I... What well, you did at the Queen of Hearts Cafe. No, well, whatever. I... Miss Oakley, are you mad at me? No. No, I'm sorry. Um, it's just that it's... Well, it's confusing. Um... Your confusion is confusing. Oh, yeah. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> um, you know, your amnesia. I think some of those, well, some of the wires have crossed up there in your brain, you know? You know, I, I think you're right. Great, great. We agree on that. Oh, sure. But, but I am also sure that the very first time I remember being hit by a car was when you came into the Queen of Hearts Cafe... And I heard your voice. Well, I sound like a lot of people, you know. Uh, I told you that before. I mean, some people have faces that are familiar and some have familiar voices, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. But I'd still really like to talk to Mr. Adam Chandler. And is he home? No, he's not. Oh, then I'll wait. <laughs> uh, see, Stuart... Um, Adam is a very important man. He's very busy. He, he works all the time. In fact, he may not be home for days. Oh. You know what? What? All I have left is time. <laughs> so I just, I just stay here and I'll look around. Maybe I'll, I'll see some things to help me remember who I am, if that's okay with you. No, it's not okay with me. It's not? No. Uh, Stuart, I have a better idea. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you see, you want all the answers to your questions. Right? Well, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, um, you know, the funny thing is that there's a person in this house who could answer them all um, better than I could, or maybe even Adam. Really? Mm-hmm. Who's that? Well, come on. I'll introduce you. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Oakley. Oh, yeah, follow me, you know. This house is a maze if you don't know where you're going. Well, gee, maybe I do. <laughs> it's on the third floor, this way. And this is where the person who can help me is? This is almost the attic, isn't it? You know what, Stuart? All your questions will be answered once you go in this room. Really? Mm -hmm, I'm sure of it. 
Okay. Well, will this person know why your voice makes me think of getting hit by a car? Just go in, Stuart. Sure. Okay. Come on. I'll wait right here. Arlene, where is Stuart? What have you done with him now? I didn't know what else to do with him. Oh, dear God. First you run over the man. Now what? Now what? Did you kill him? What? What are you? You insane? Well, are you insane? Where is he? Well, I couldn't have Adam come into this house and see Stuart on this couch with a book and brandy. So I, I locked him in the attic. You are insane. Well, did you can't put him in the attic. Did you have a better idea? Dear God, first you run the man over, you make him lose his memory, then you lock him in his brother's attic. I mean, do you really think you're going to get away with this as well? Arlene, really, and I mean it. Are you mad? logic just fascinates me. Booze is always the thing that trips you up, and yet you think guzzling another fifth is going to solve all your problems. I'm just trying to clear my head, all right? <laughs> well, Arlene, scotch is not going to do it. Now, let's see. You hit Stuart with your car. You cause his amnesia, I presume, while you're under the influence. Was it hit and run, or did you just black out? It wasn't me. Well, Stuart suspects you. He identified your voice. He can't be positive. I heard him ask you, was it Annie Oakley, the one driving the car that hit him? Annie Oakley, but not Arlene Trent. Oh, fine. Names were changed, but not to protect the innocent. I was drunk. Oh, guilty with an excuse. <laughs> you know, letting Adam believe that Stuart's dead was risky. But leaving Stuart for dead is, is suicidal. Well, I hit him, but I had a blackout, okay? Well, it's okay with me. Oh, would you just... was going to come to Pine Valley. Well, you certainly underestimated his homing instincts, didn't you? Well, now that he's here, we got to find a way to get rid of him. Well, locking him in the attic, Arlene, was hardly an act of genius. I mean, Adam's going to be home anymore, any minute. What are you going to do then? I mean, short of stuffing Stuart up a chimney, I would say that your golden goose is rather cooked. I know you're wondering what, what I'm doing up here. I, I'm looking for, for some childhood things that belong to him. Uh, like, like this, um, Rudy Tooty Ralph's Western Roundup. And his rodeo buddies, B-Bomb and Scooter. Yes, that's right. Uh, this was uh, his lunchbox. I can just see my darling... Uh, Walking down the road to school, swinging this by his side, and kicking up the dust as he scanned the tops of trees, looking for blue jays and whippoorwills. Adam, I, I know you think I'm losing it, but I really feel like he's close by, like he's trying to find his way home to us, and, and that's why I snuck up here, you know, to... What? What is it? I know who you are. You're the beautiful lady in my painting. My queen of hearts. Stuart. Is it really you? Oh, I'm Stuart, all right. Oh, 
Oh, my God. should be doing this, but I don't want to stop because it feels so good. Oh, of course. Of course it feels good. Because we belong together, my darling. We belong together. Your hair smells like jasmine. I remember. And your kisses feel like home. Oh, I don't know. I, I, this may be wrong, but... It feels a lot better holding you than it ever felt holding my wife. But, Stuart, I, I am your wife. Holy moly, you... <laughs> Are you sure? Shut up, Vanessa, so I can think. Focus better with a few under my belt. Well, focus on this. Now that you have Stuart upstairs, my silence is going to cost you double. How can you squeeze me for cash when my whole life is unraveling? Money seems to center me. It's, it, it's kind of a zen thing. Forget it, Vanessa. I'm tapped out. Well, ask Adam for a little advance. I'm advanced up to my eyeballs. Pity! Well, I happen to have an appointment at the Valley Inn, so if I should run into Adam on my way out... Wait, just wait! Direct him to the attic. Take this. I'm cleaned out. <laughs> you know, my dear, this wouldn't even be pin money in my day. <laughs> well, when your day? When was that, the late Jurassic? Okay. That'll cost you another 10000 You know, you are such a greedy... Take this. It's a museum piece. It's worth over a hundred thousand like that. Ah, just don't breathe a word. What do you want? Mr. Chandler just phoned. He said he'd be home shortly. S Stuart, darling, don't you remember? You and I were married a year ago on Valentine's Day. Sorry. Uh, the only wife I can remember is Esther. Esther? Esther Glenn? <laughs> oh, no, Stuart. She's your old girlfriend. I mean, you broke up with her when we met, and you and I fell madly in love when we got married. Surely you haven't forgotten that. Well, um, I haven't really been myself lately. See, I got, I got hit by a car. Is that what happened to you? Yeah. Were you badly hurt? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I, I think I, I hurt my head pretty good. And I woke up in Esther's trailer, and she told me that my name was Stuart Lynn, and, and that we were married. Uh, as Esther and me, I mean. That lying husband stealer. Oh, now, don't say bad things about Esther. She was really very nice to me. She, she bought me some new clothes, and, and she, she made me feel right at home. Even though it didn't really feel like home. Of course it didn't feel like home, Stuart, because your home is here with me. Well, I, I told Esther that I didn't really feel like, like we were married. I didn't remember getting married, or I didn't remember anything. And uh, then... She suggested that we go out to Las Vegas and get married all over again, and, and maybe that would jog my memory. Oh, my God. Stuart, you, you didn't marry that woman, did you? Oh, no, no, no. We, we never got to Las Vegas. I, I, I wasn't willing to leave the Queen of Hearts Cafe. Queen of Hearts Cafe? That's, that's a place where, where Esther and I worked for a while, and that's where I started seeing your face. 
And, and I saw it everywhere. I saw it in the sunrise and the sunset and the, and the clouds and the, 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 the dishwater. The little pink bubbles bursting all around. And it was the funniest thing. What was? They all thought that I was an artist, but I couldn't draw to save my life. And then I started seeing your face. And I picked up the brush and there it was. I painted you, I, I, queen of hearts. I didn't know who you were, but I knew you were something special. <laughs> oh no, my darling. You are the special one. My love, you are the special one. <laughs> He's doing that. You see these crowns? We, we, we wore them on our wedding day. And when you died, I, I placed yours on your grave, but I didn't have the heart to leave it there very long. Maybe this will help you remember. You see, I was, I was your queen of hearts. And you, my darling, will always be my king. You're so beautiful in that crowd. You, Stuart, are my true beholder, now and forever. Maybe if you gave me another kiss, maybe I could remember. Position. What kind of position might that be, dear? So he could finally realize that I'm the one woman in the world who he can't live without. Well, I'm afraid Liza holds that distinction. I mean, anyone with eyes can see that he's still madly in love with her. I'll make him forget her. <laughs> the one drunken night? And when the rosy-fingered Don drops the bromo into the glass of water, I'm afraid your plan's gonna go plop, plop, fizz, fizz. You're a real downer, you know that, Vanessa. Well, Arlene, what are you going to do about Stuart? Oh, I don't know. I just have to keep Adam away from that attic. Oh, well, good luck, dear. Mm. You keep my word, won't you? Yeah. I'll keep your secret. But don't you ever forget, it will cost you. Whoa, Maisie, where do you think you're going? Up to the attic to store the summer linens. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No. No, you're going to go to your room and pack. <laughs> you can't fire me. Oh, yeah? Well, no, okay. Uh, fine. Uh, you are going on an all-expense-paid vacation with Lucretia. Don't bother to write. Has Mr. Chandler approved all this? When are you going to get through your thick skull that I am the mistress of this house and you take orders from me? Now get packing! Made my heart go. <laughs> but, no, I still can't remember. Stuart, uh, I'm not the only one who, who loved you. Uh, you have a son, Scott, and he's missed you very much. I have a son? Yes, and uh, you have a twin brother, Adam. That's who Adam is. Adam, is it? He's my twin. Uh, darling, you and Adam, uh, you were born in, in Pigeon Hollow, West Virginia. And uh, Adam was your champion. But you had a, a big argument, and he hurt you very deeply, and then you just, you disappeared. And that must have been about the time you got hit by the car. 
So we all thought that you'd burned to death in a fire. And uh, your death hit Adam very hard. He just, he lost all meaning in his life. And he turned on everyone who loved him or anyone who even tried to love him. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. No, no, darling, you mustn't blame yourself. But, Stuart, I have to tell you, it was really terrible. Not having you with us, so you've got to please try to remember us as we were and to love us again because you're our only hope, Stuart. So please try to remember. Please. Oh. Please try. Okay. Adam is, is my brother. He's Adam. And, and, uh, Adam. 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 He's my brother. I gotta keep my man's mind on me. Nothing but me. Where's Lucretia? I want some dinner. Oh, I gave the staff the evening off. And the morning after. I'm hungry. Snack on this? I think I'll grab a bite downstairs. I promise you won't leave unsatisfied. Why are you undressed, honey? Oh. Using perfume to cover up whiskey went out with Scarlett O'Hara. I want you to thank me. Thank you for what? For getting Frank to help us sabotage Liza and Taz's Colmar Tower. That's old news, Harley. Why is it so dark in here? I was trying to set the mood. I'm in the mood for a shower. Oh, yeah? Can I join you? I mean, there's nothing better than a hot shower and a pitcher of cold martinis afterwards. We can make a night of it all night long. Mm -hmm. That would be just my luck. You gave the staff the night off. Who's that clumping around up there? Those are squirrels. What? Yeah, yeah they, 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 they swoop down um, on the elm trees and climb into the attic. Really? Well, we'll see about that. I have my old squirrel gun from Pigeon Hollow. No, you'll hurt Stewart. What? What? What was that about Stuart? Oh, well, you know, if, if, if Stuart were here, um, you know, his feelings would be hurt if you killed an innocent woodland creature. Well, we can't just leave them up there. They'll destroy the place. No, I'll call someone tomorrow and have them relocated to a protected area. All right, all right. But you've been warned about Stuart. He's off limits. Don't mention his name. Got that? My lips are zipped. Speaking of zippers, can I help you with yours? Hmm? Arlene, what's gotten into you? Oh, I don't know. It must be Indian summer, rising temperatures. You like doing something naughty. How about we go to the pine cone? Oh. They got closed, closed circuit TV and vibrating bed. And now I know you've lost it. All right. That does it. I'm going up there. No, uh, no, uh, uh, uh Tantalizer in New York. In a hotel. Overnight. Just the two of them? Yeah. Why do you care? They're on business. Well, of course I care what Tad and Liza do. I don't want them undermining our efforts to undermine them. Mm. Why, you got a plan? I'm going to New York. What hotel are you in? I'll tell you when we get there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Adam. I'm your wife. Whither thou goest, goest thou. All right, all right. But for God's sakes, get some clothes on. Adam, I'll be there as soon as 
close our lockout. Sweet dreams, Stuart. I'll worry about you tomorrow. No use, Marion. I, no, no matter how hard I try, I just can't remember. Stuart, do you hear what you just said? Marion. You, you called me Marion. Well, that's your name. Yes, but you remembered it was my name. Oh, my gosh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> didn't I? I remembered that, 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 that you, you, your name was Marion Colby before we got married. And, and, and you, you, you love skinny dipping and, and, and dry martini. <laughs> and you had a cat named Clark who lived to be 19, and you've got a daughter named Liza, and I have a son named Scott. And you are the woman I will love all of my life, with all of my heart and my soul, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick said he couldn't find you on the other side, and I wish I'd listened to him right away. Oh, oh I wish I'd listened. I wanted to come back so, so sooner, but I, I couldn't leave the cafe because it was called the Queen of Queen of Hearts, and I knew that was important. I was looking for some childhood things up here to get to Frederick. Yeah. That's what I was doing up here. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Yeah, I was... When I painted your picture, and I knew it was you, and I knew you were my Queen of Hearts, then I saw... I saw a tear. I knew, like she'd been crying. Oh, Stuart, I cried every day. I missed you so terribly. I missed you, too. I missed you so even though I didn't know who you were. Or why my heart felt so empty without you. I just knew I had to get home. Wherever home was. Here, darling, here with me. Yeah, I know that now. Home is with my beautiful queen of hearts. Oh, my darling. I love you so very much. I love you, too. Such a beautiful name. Especially when you say it. Please, Stuart. Say it again, please. under control. Uh, Stuart won't starve if, well, he doesn't eat for a day or two. Uh, no, I dismissed the servants for the week. Vanessa, would you stop being so negative? I mean, look, I have Adam here all to myself in New York. What can go wrong? Ooh, gotta go. You know, this brochure has a bunch of stuff we could do here. Like, uh, how about a Broadway show? Hmm? Oh, I can't believe it. Cats is closing. Only for the last year. Oh, darn it. I'd want to see that. Oh, well. <laughs> well, how about a jazz club? Or if you want to stay inside, I'm sure we could think of something pleasurable to do. There's not a sound. Where the hell are they? Well, maybe Tad and Liza decided to stay someplace else. No. No, no. Uh, Chandler Enterprises has an account here. And the desk clerk confirmed their reservations, and I, I made it worth his while to ensure they'd be our neighbors. Well, it's too bad he didn't have enough time to have their room bugged or put a spy cam in. Well, this is too boring for you. Perhaps you'd like to just go back to Pine Valley. Oh, would you just stop being such a poop? I'm in on this all the way. I mean, thanks to me, I saw Frank's potential. And now he's put himself into a, a position where he can handle all the problems of the Colmar Tower. Don't be too quick to pat yourself on the back. The project hasn't failed yet. Hey. It's just a question of time. Uh, you can relax just for an evening, can't you? Get that out of my face. Jeez, Adam. I wish I hadn't mentioned that Tad and Liza were staying. Shh. They're coming in. Well, good to see you. I hope your stay with us will be enjoyable as usual. Oh, I'm sure it will be. There you go, sir. Thank you very much. The executive uh, meeting room is stocked and ready when you are. Is there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. You think you could put together a last-minute teleconference? I'm sorry? Oh, it's just that the gentlemen that we're meeting uh, are experiencing some delays in Chicago. The people from uh, Alliance Elevators? Mm. I wasn't aware they hadn't arrived. Regrettable, uh, but these things do happen. Uh, 
I'll have a complimentary bottle of champagne sent up while you're waiting. Regrettable. That's a prize-winning understatement. It's one thing you know these clowns ever since we contracted them for Colmar, beginning to wonder whether or not they want our business or not. Well, it's like the manager says. I mean, these things do happen. Yeah, but every other blessed moment we turn around, think about it. It's always some unforgotten detail, you know, some near catastrophe averted. Doesn't exactly inspire confidence, does it? I don't know about you, but I'm beginning to wonder that this whole damn project is just stuck between floors. Strange. Excuse me. Well, <sighs> uh, I could have a light supper sent up as well. The fruit may not be enough. Um, no, we, uh, we can call if, if we need something to eat. And thank you for the lovely basket. Oh, well, I try to ensure that my special guests are well taken care of. Uh, mm. Mr. Uh, Martin has a basket in his room, and your other party, of course, has one, too. Uh, perhaps you'd like to dine together while you're waiting. Um, the other party that you're talking about? What? I don't know oh, what you're... Mr. Chandler and his wife. Adam is here? I assumed that you were here together. That's why we, we put you next to each other. Uh, I, my apologies if that's not the case. Uh, does, does, uh, does Adam know that, that uh, we're here? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I was away from my office when he arrived. Does Adam know that we know that he's here? I don't think so, but again, I, I was away from my desk. Okay, um, you know what? Actually, why don't we just, um, keep it that way? <laughs> you know, no, uh, no talking about it or anything? Oh. <laughs> All right, as you like, Miss Colby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm. Is there anything you need at all? Oh, well, just give me a pick up the phone. Thank you. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Enjoy yourself. Bye-bye. Okay. It's official. O'Hare is fogged in, meaning there's no way they'll make it out tonight and no telling when they'll arrive tomorrow. So I say there's no reason we shouldn't just turn right around and fly back to Pine Valley. Not on your life. We're not going anywhere. I'm not going to be ridiculous about this. There's a flight home in an hour. We can argue about it on the way to the airport. I'm not leaving. Okay, fine. You have it your way. I just see how fast, Mr. Anything you want can No, you're not about. leaving either. Oh, contraire. Unless you've got a gun, I'm not here anymore. We just can't pack up and leave. Why not? Huh? Beats the hell out of sitting around waiting. Personally, I'd rather be at home with my incredibly bodacious wife. Hell, I'd rather be in the office. Either way, we're here now, okay? We made the effort. Let's let our friends at Alliance make the, make the effort next time. It's late. And we can uh, stay and um, get up and leave in the morning. Because if they get a red eye, then, then they'll be here. And, and they'll be tired. And, and we'll be rested. And we'll have the advantage in the negotiation. What negotiations? There are no negotiations. They're not here. I'm ready to go with another company. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Let's just start all over. That'll just add more time. That's, that's exactly what we need. God, I hate it when you're right. Okay. I see your point. Can't blame a guy for trying. Dixie and I don't get to spend enough time together as it is. I'll make it up to you. I, I promise. <laughs> uh, starting tonight. I'll, I'll take you to dinner. In my favorite restaurant in Tribeca. Why the hell not? Might as well make the best of it. All righty then. Up, I can't hear a word they're saying. Room service, this is Mrs. Adam Chandler. You know, as long as you're making it up to me, I might as well get you to spring for theater tickets. Personally, I can't decide between Peter and the Wolf, performed entirely by sock puppets, or the Yiddish Folk Music Festival at Lincoln Center. How do you feel about seeing cats? I, I think it's closing. I, this time for good, I, I think. Shows you what I know. Well, you know, I always take care of you, Tad. And I promise you, tonight I will give you entertainment that you can reach out and pet.
ordered us some goodies. But that doesn't mean we have to wait to start having some fun, you know? What is that? What is... What... What does she mean? Which, when Liza said she always takes care of him. What... <laughs> doesn't sound like they're planning a business meeting to me. Mm. Yeah. Oh, hi. Yeah. How'd you manage that? Okay, well, you did good. I'll talk to you later. Bye. That was Frank. He got to the guys at Alliance Elevators. They're not going to show. There's no meeting. Sorry, Ted. Sorry, Liza. So, they're not coming. You know what that means. Komar Towers going down. No. <laughs> Liza and Tad are going to be in that room alone, together, for the entire evening, for the entire night, uninterrupted alone, together, in that room. Yeah, so why do you care? I don't. Good. Because you have much better things to think about. You're not on some kind of medication, are you? No. I just thought that if we don't get to see cats, we'll, we'll go see the Lion King. We'll keep with the feline theme. Oh, yeah, that follows. Uh, I can't do the Lion King. I promised Dixie and the boys I'd take them to see it over the holidays. They'd kill me if I saw it without them. No problem. We'll think of something. Fine. You do the thinking. I'm gonna call the ball and chain. Tell her what's going on. You know, I, I'm going to go down to the lobby. I'm going to go to the concierge and uh, see if they have any suggestions uh, and uh, work my magic at our table. Okay. 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 Oh, champagne, uh, caviar, uh, smoked oysters, chocolate-dipped strawberries, and uh, the item from the gift shop. Mmm. So, uh, between the food and, uh, <laughs> this, do you think my husband's appetite will be satisfied? Yes, ma'am. Very good answer. Come on in. Dixie's not at home. She doesn't answer her cellular either. What's wrong with you? Some drunk uh, convention guy bumped into me in the hallway and... I don't know. Will you go down to the concierge? Will you get a paper? And I'm going to change for dinner. Yeah, sure. No problem. Probably end up hanging out with the Shriners anyway. <sighs> Having a hell of a lot more fun than we are. Go to a strip club. Go trolling down 20 <sighs> I made love to Tad. You know, I had to get in touch with Judd and Marilyn. Why, darling? Well, because they... they I want them to know I'm all right. They, they, they were really very nice to me. And Esther? Is she still in Nevada? I don't know. She, uh, she may have moved on after I left. I can't believe she pretended to be your wife and lied to you all this time. I mean, I, I, I know this is going to sound horrible, Stuart, but I would like to run that woman down with her own trailer. <laughs> well, at least she was good to me. Darling, I hate to ask you this, but when you were with Esther, did you two... I, I mean, you know, trailers are very... They're very close quarters, and, I, I, and you thought you were married to her, so did oh, you... Oh, no, no. 
no, we, we didn't live as husband and wife. Not like that. Oh, no. oh, no. I kissed her twice. But it was, it was more like kissing a good friend. I, I really felt sorry for her. She was really very sad. She, well, I didn't love her and she knew it. She did? Oh, sure. Couldn't pretend. Somehow I knew what it really felt like to be in love. To really love someone, even though I wasn't, I wasn't aware that you were the one I had the feelings for. Oh, Stuart. I wish I had amnesia, too. And then I wouldn't have thought that I'd lost you forever. Here. Oh. I'm so sorry. But you were all so sad. I, 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 feel, I feel sorry for everyone. Adam. Oh, I just remembered. I, oh, I was so mad at him. Because he tried to hurt you with that, that awful man, that, that Paolo. Oh, Stuart, I wish that you had forgotten about that forever. I really do. I saw Adam at Oak Haven, and I remember telling him that he wasn't my brother anymore. Oh, no. I remember how hurt he looked. That was the last time I ever saw him. Stuart, Adam hasn't been the same since. The night that he lost you, he lost himself. Close your eyes and open wide, and you'll no. get a nice surprise. I don't come want on, it. come on. <laughs> want something to wash it down with? What was that? Yes. <laughs> my, my, my. I didn't think she had it in her. You're an animal. Yes, thing. Oh. oh. Yes. You are the best. Oh. You're an animal. Oh, yes, Dad, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Was it as good for you as it was for you? that idea that you had for the Colmar Tower. Uh -huh. Thinking, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I had no idea that you uh, you found it so stimulating. I, I think I just fell asleep and I was Why dreaming I was talking in my... Come sweetheart. Yeah. Come off it. I know what you're going through. Why don't we just be honest about it? Honest about what? <gasps> about what you're feeling. No. Deep, <laughs> deep down. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Why is it, trust me? Why? Forget about Tad and Liza. Once the Comar Tower fails, Chandler Enterprises will kick them out so fast they won't be able to sit down for a week. I'm all you need, Adam. You know that? We'll see how hot they are for each other. Oh, come on. Liza's hopeless. Let her love Tad. They deserve each other. Adam! <laughs> Shut up! Oh, shut up! Oh. Liza does not love her. Do you hear me? She loves me. She loves only me. You married Arlene? Yes, darling. That's how desperate he's become. I mean, talk about sinking to the lower depths. Annie Oakley. Annie Oakley. You want to see uh, Annie get your gun? I can get us tickets. It's going to be here on tour. Oh, Arlene is Annie Oakley. Stuart, darling, I think you better sit down. I think this has all been a little too much for you. No, no, no. Ar Arlene came out to the to the to the Queen of Hearts cafe, and, and she was dressed just like Annie Oakley. Arlene was at the Queen of Hearts cafe. Yes, yes she was. She was there, and that was the first time I remembered getting hit by the car when I heard her voice, and I. I'm almost positive that she's the one that hit me. Arlene? She knew you were alive all this time? Yeah. I'm going to kill her. No, no, no. When I get my hands on that woman, I am going to kill her. We've got, we got to warn Adam. 
We gotta, we gotta keep her, keep her away from him. Oh, oh, I'm all right, Stuart. I'm all right. I'm all right. Arlene brought me up here and locked me in. She's what? That blue life. Ryan. Oh, we gotta get out of here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta warn him. We gotta stop her. Tickle vaudeville routine you go into every time Adam's around. How long are you gonna torture the poor sap anyway? Look, Ryan said, you know, a hand on the thigh, that's one thing. A meaningful look is another. But when you involve a concierge in a New York hotel, you start to look ridiculous. Well, I don't know what it is that you oh, think you're yes, saying, but you're wrong. Honey, I know, I know that Adam is right next door, and that's the sole reason for your one woman or she isn't it. Admit. You wanted Adam to hear the two of us making love. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Dixie, whoa, wait, hold on, what, who are you talking about? 